All right, here's another project. <laughs> All you can eat crab legs and seafood. I'm opening a restaurant. Nah, I'm just fixing up a golf cart for a restaurant. Getting paid four hundred dollars. Well, it's a nice little, well, not little, but it's a nice golf cart for sure. <clears throat> the engine needs to be completely replaced, though. They were driving it. Actually, starting to rain. I'm just going to sit right in the golf cart, actually. It's got a roof. But, uh, yeah. Uh, they were driving it to the Christmas parade on De in December of last year. And, uh, uh, the guy who was driving it said that the uh, engine started making some awful noises and started shaking real bad. And uh, he pulled it over immediately. And uh, one of my friends who works there recommended me to work on it. And next thing I know, I'm, I'm driving over the sandbar restaurant and they're telling me what all they think is wrong with it and everything. And I took a look at it and uh, sure enough something ain't right I uh, came back a few days later with a long trailer to pick this thing up and uh, the engine actually would start it up since, since the first time since December I mean it started right up no problem and we wanted to drive around but it was just so noisy and awful nasty sounding and so yeah Right when I was loading up the trailer, I had it put, push, punched in full throttle. Daniel's pushing up the back while the back tires are spinning because the damn golf cart bottomed out. But it was we were slowly inching it forward, and all of a sudden there's a loud bang. Engine completely seized up. Clutch went flying right off the crankshaft. It's a mess. Oil is pouring out the bottom. I still got some parts left over from it. We got some metal chunklets in there some more metal chunklets in there if you look in the very back here you'll see two big old holes in the motor I know there's another one right in the bottom I gotta find it I'm gonna try and pull this motor out which actually I gotta lift up oh, I got my sockets in the rain dang it yeah I gotta uh, I gotta lift up the side of the golf of the golf cart here to actually get a good look so I'm gonna winch it up with the bad boy buggy Let's see how that looks if the rain would stop I could get under there and really get a good look but yeah now I can now I can get up under this thing and start undoing some bolts that holds the motor on yep it's a pain in the ass, but it's it's worth it to help a restaurant make some money. Because they use this to transport people from their parking lot over to the restaurant. So it's kind of a necessity. It's a long one. I really wish they designed the front bumper of the buggy a little more sturdy. I mean, you can see it flex before the suspension does on the buggy. I mean, it'll hold more weight than this, but still, it's just, it still it feels kind of flimsy to me. I just let it back down so they don't stress nothing. Yeah, when I got to when the rain stops and I get the chance to get under there and I can get a look but anyway yeah we o we're ordering a brand new engine this is an FE350 we're actually ordering an FE400 bigger better newer motor it's a, it's a brand new motor the guy on eBay selling it for uh, 1450 instead of the regular new price of three thousand dollars so that's pretty sweet and uh, top of everything else uh, we're gonna order new brakes, new uh, 
drive belt, new starter belt. This thing's going to be ready and raring to go. All some passengers around. Oh, what's kind of cool about these limo carts is it actually has front brakes on it. I didn't even know club car made such a thing, but yeah. Got front brakes. Most of these cars won't even hold air ever again. Oops. That one's got a big old hole the size of a penny foot in it. Then we got that one actually holds there. Then that one holds there. And the other one over here, it's got another big, big hole in it. It's just a mess. But yeah, I can't wait to get this thing going because I want to test drive it before uh, before I give it back. I'm going to have a little fun with it first. <laughs> I might as well close the seat up before the rain gets too bad and starts blowing into here. Yeah, that motor is effed. I was kind of hoping i get to keep it and get a few years out of it and stick it on a mini bike or a go-kart or something, but that ain't going to happen. So yeah, I'm stuck with this for now. Three-wheeler projects are coming along, too. Hold on, Mom. I've got the uh, ATC 200 motor up here again. It's actually, I just, literally just reassembled it. And, well, I was going to put the 200X piston in there, but it doesn't fit. And I'm kind of glad I messed this up because uh, I just put the uh, put the old piston back in, which I think it might be a 185 bottom end on here. Now it says 192. This must be an oversized piston, then, if it wouldn't fit in there stock. So that means I need to get it bored out. I'm just going to order a new piston. I'm going to see if I can get myself uh, one of these kinds that has the and that sticks up off the top with the valve cuts instead of just the flat top. Get a little bit more compression but uh yeah i forgot to put one of the damn circlets in on the dang gum piston right for the wrist pin i forgot one of the circlets so i got this far and then i just realized it I and mean, you can see look i didn't get my four bolts in here yet but i had the head put together had my timing i just got that all lined up I had already siliconed everything I mean, I was pretty much done. I was just finishing up, and I realized the damn circlet's not in there. So, yeah. I might, uh, if there's extra money, I might actually, I might actually just get another Wiseco piston or something. And, uh, use the old jug here since it's already been bored out before. Save some metal on this one or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out what the hell I want to do. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Having this thing with a ton of power. And I might be getting a uh, 250 ES. Might. I'm going to a tractor show in North Carolina. And if I have any money left over after that. And I decide that, that I still want the three-wheeler. I'm buying it. It's supposedly in really good shape. I haven't seen a picture of it yet. But I want to go check it out. It's pretty close by to where I live. So. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's raining. Uh, I'm going to shut this video down and upload it before it gets too rainy.